Hello, 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 sellers. Come on in, come on in. I'm Kathy and I love to be selling. And so today what we're going to be talking about, is this your selling style? I found this really unique style when I was researching selling shoes on eBay and I'm picking shoes because it's a wonderful broad category. Um, you can successfully sell shoes on eBay for kids, uh, women, men, all different styles from very casual to very dressy to luxury. I mean, all different kinds of shoes sell on eBay um, and very successfully. Hi, Sharon, and all different kinds of brands and all different kinds of price points. Hey, Vicki, come on in, come on in. And also for my newer sellers, oftentimes shoes, snookers, snookers sneakers, boots, um, you, this will be part of what you'll find that you want to start selling when you're first selling on eBay because you're cleaning out your closets. And for those of us that have been selling on eBay for quite some time, it also may be something that we are selling on eBay because we're cleaning out our closets. But the other thing with shoes and boots um, for all ages and all members of the family is that it's something that you can source consignment stores, thrift stores, what's called retail arbitrage, which is you're buying a regular brick and mortar and flipping it um you can buy it at outlets i mean literally it is all over uh the other wonderful things about shoes is oftentimes people love their shoes very much like uh loving your bags and loving your hats and people buy dozens and dozens of shoes also depending on your lifestyle you need different styles of shoes so very casual maybe athletic shoes sneakers uh shoes for work uh, for people that are in a physical office, you know, different styles of work shoes. Um, here in New York, oftentimes I'll see, um, and this started years ago, but again, people will be in sneakers or in flats to walk to work. And then once they're at work, they switch into these killer heels, uh, what I call cab shoes, which is literally you can walk like three steps and then you're jumping in a cab or an Uber. But I want to go over some great strategies for selling shoes selling successfully and then this really cool thing i came across i want to share with you because it's a great seller for shoes but also it's a strategy that you could use in any category hey rick great to see you thank you so much everybody for joining me um so let's get right to it so what i did was i searched shoes and what i did was i searched um tory birch ballerina flats just because it's very very popular um, I see them a lot here in New York. So let me just pull this up and this would work. I mean, you could search any shoe, any style, but I wanted to pick it. So you're, you know, you're in the store and you're wondering, should I buy this? So you're going to go on eBay and you're going to use the search feature. Um, if you're able to get into the eBay.com, um, you're going to be using Terapeak, but the eBay search feature is a huge help on this. And also checking advanced search to see if they sold. So let's just look at Tory Burch. So what I did was I just pulled it up. And the first thing I wanted to point out to you, um, so you're going to do your research. You're going to do, you know, you're going to check like, does this sell? And especially with shoes, this is also true for clothing. Um, you really want to check the size because some sizes will sell very, very rapidly. For instance, women's eight, because it's such a common size. Other sizes, it's not that they won't sell. They will Things like narrow widths will sell, very large shoes, very small shoes. But typically, it's more of a long tail item, wide width, if it's a wide width. So really look at the shoe and know what you're looking at when you're considering um, to resell it on eBay. Also, in doing your research, because it's not enough just to search, you know, Nike sneaker or Kate Spade or Tory Burch, um, Naturalizer, whatever it is. It's the size, the color, the width. And also for ladies, the heel height will dramatically impact it too. Sometimes with some styles, the really large, large, large heels, high heels will really, really sell. Others, it's the flats. Others, it's both. So the brand, the color, the size, the heel height. Okay. So I just picked Ter Tory Burch Ballerina Flats because they're super popular. Um, you'll see that there's a bunch listed when you search. And I did this, I searched size eight, just to let you know. And in size eight, there was over 5,400 listed, okay, which tells me there's a lot. And then you look at prices. 
So the first thing, let's say I have a pair of Tory Burch flats I'm going to be listing. And this is true, again, any sneaker, any shoe, any boot. This also translates for clothing, home decor, anything. You want to look at how other people are styling it just to get ideas. This is something that's really been percolating in my mind lately is to stay teachable. You might have always listed shoes a certain way or always listed a dress or sweaters a certain way or always listed a book or bookends a certain way or vases, but stay teachable. E-commerce changes so rapidly. eBay changes so rapidly. I want to stay on top of what is working now. Sharon's here and she'll attest to it because she's one of my insiders, one of my uh, love to be selling members. And Rick too is, it's very much on my heart when I work with my members and my private clients is, but what is working now? What strategies work right now for selling on eBay? And on eBay, because so many of our shoppers in all categories are on mobile, okay? So they're looking at it on their phone. They're looking at it on their iPads. Is this first image, it's called the hero image, is so important. So for shoes, and again, any category, but I'm focusing on shoes, and I'm focusing on ballerina flats, okay? So heel height for the ballerina flats, not going to matter because it's flat. As opposed to if it's a heel, I'd want to show that off more is how are these sellers styling the shoes? And when you go through, what I see is, so with Tory Burch, um, the big standout is the logo that's, and these are naturalizers, the logo that's right here on the toe. So what you'll see is that most of the sellers, as they're styling it, are making it very clear. So you can see that, and this one's cute. Um, it's got a little charm on the tie. So they're showing off the charm, smart. So what is this telling me? When I'm listing my shoe, shoes, boots, sneakers, whatever the item is, what is what, what about it stands out the most? It could be very classic styling. It could be the color. It could be the pattern. It could be the texture. Whatever that is, I really wanted to show in this first image. So good job by the seller with the um, the little charm. Again, here, some of them are doing a single shoe because they really want to show the detail on that. Some are showing both. Again, it's totally a call up to the seller. So singles are working, single like this, single angle. Again, the one with the little charm, why are they showing the toe so much? Because of the little charm, okay? So that's what I'm learning from looking at this is of I can do singles, I can do doubles. These sellers are all doing what I call an aerial shot. So they're not focusing so much on the heel height because these are flats. So they're showing me the pattern, like the one on the right, the animal print, and they're showing me the charm. So always think about what's different, what detail about this item, whatever it is, is going to attract the attention of a buyer, okay? That's what you want in your first image. And then this is what I came across that I found so interesting is um, the ones that were attracting my attention. So I'm looking at this and I'm going, this is so much fun. I'm having so much fun researching this because I actually have some shoes I need to get listed. Hang on. Was the seller with the Tory Burch with the green carpeting? <laughs> is that grabbing your attention too? I'm like, what is this with the green carpeting? Um, now, totally up front um, is eBay does recommend a white or a pale gray background. And this is because of mobile search, right? Because our shoppers are on mobile and typically what looks best on mobile and you'll see all the way to the right with the white background. And let me just scroll up a bit. You know, you'll see that most sellers are using an off white or a white background. We do have some on the floor. You've got some with brick, but what is recommended and this is because for years, um, this is all that Google really wanted was white or off-white background. So you'll see most sellers are doing that um, with shoes and boots, and that is what's recommended. But what's interesting with the seller with the green shed carpeting, um, and I took a look at it, is they are going to look for to be branded. They want you to know it's them. And you'll notice, and this is what caught my attention, is um, because they have several Tory Birch listed. 
And I'm calling this out if you sell in a single category or even for my sift and nuts sellers is do I want to do something with my background, like what this seller's done with the green carpeting, where it's not what everybody else is doing, okay? Um, but what it does is it calls out my listing because it certainly grabs your attention. But what goes along with these listings is look at them. It's good quality pictures. So they have picked the green carpeting to stand out, okay? And it's also nice, clean, green carpeting. I'm not looking at carpeting going, oh, what are all those crumbs and stains, <laughs> right? It's a good quality picture. It's clean and crisp, and I can see the shoe. They're also using a shoe tree, so it gives a really nice shape to the shoe. So it's a very professional, clean, crisp picture. They haven't just taken the shoe and thrown it on the rug, okay? And the green grabs my attention. And I'm pointing this out if you want to do something with your pictures where it goes to more branding, where if you're going to be listing, let's say, a bunch of shoes or a bunch of books or a bunch of dresses or a bunch of sweaters, and I want to do something in my background that is going to call attention to me to help my listing stand out and search, that I do something in my background so that people know when they're scrolling through, like with this, with the Tory Birch, because they're all being listed roughly the same amount of time, I go, oh, they've got a bunch. So maybe I'll come in and see if they do any kind of combined shipping. I'll see maybe they have some other Tory Birch. Maybe they have some Tory Birch other accessories and items. And the, hi, Debbie, good to see you. And the interesting thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, when I went and clicked on this seller, so hang on a second. And again, this is about stay teachable, see what's working, think about trying new things. And this is a more intermediate advanced strategy, okay? Is I went in and looked at this seller. The seller's name is Solia, and they are a huge shoe seller. So this is a niche seller. They sell lots and lots and lots of shoes, and they had over 200 feedback for a single month. And you typically don't get feedback on every single item. So this seller is likely selling close to maybe 500, 800, or 1,000 um, items a month. And they are a shoe seller. So this is not a soup to nuts seller. This is a shoe seller with a large variety of men's, women's, and kids' shoes. And they are all pretty much, they had, I think, one I caught, like this one, right? The Adidas was on a gray. But everything else is on this green carpeting. And I'm calling it out. Again, this is not for everybody. This is ideas. And that's what I do is I give you ideas. So, for instance, with researching the shoes, what I was looking at is what works. And what works is to call out what's distinctive, unique about the shoe. Is it the toe? Is it the heel? Is it the height? Is it the texture? Is it the color? And you make sure that your first picture, like the Tory Burch with the little charm um, on the bow tie, is that that first picture calls out what is unique. It could be the color. It could be the swoop on the Nike. It could be that it's brand new with box, so the box is in the picture, or the dust bag. Some shoes come with dust bags. But whatever it is, whatever's unique, whatever calls out that item, I make sure I get it in the first image or the hero image. And then my intermediate advanced strategy and food for thought is if you sell a lot in a single category or perhaps you sell everything vintage. So everything you're selling is vintage or you just have a lovely variety of stuff and you really want to call out to people. So as they are scrolling through on their phones and their iPads is that you do something in your background to call out you to go, hi, it's me. Like this seller did with the Tory Burch. And why do I want to do that? Because that way they know they go, oh, they've got like three Tory Burch or they've got two of the purses, or they've got several of the baseball cards that I'm interested in. Why? Because then they click in and they look at your store. It's bringing them into your store. It's bringing them into your listings. It's bringing them into browse and shop more with you. So cheers, cheers, cheers to Salia with the bright green carpeting. And again, this strategy isn't for everybody, but it's food for thought of how do I stand out and search? Is this the kind of strategy that I would want to try? And like anything, test it. See if this is going to work for you. And I was looking at shoes because shoes are such a huge category for back to school. And right now, this is August 14th of 2023. Is back to school has just started. 
in the South, many, many, many schools are back in session and the rest of the United States starts to roll back into school and the rest of our world. Uh, I'm in New York City, so here in New York, we don't go back to school till after Labor Day. But certainly shoes, sneakers, boots are a massive category for back to school for all ages. So now, now, now is the time to get those shoes up, to get those sneakers up, to get those boots up and be ready for the wonderful back to school shoppers. And this video has given you lots of tips on that. Um, let me know where you're following me. Um, I broadcast on Facebook, so thank you for following my Facebook business page. I appreciate it and liking and commenting on the video. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. You can like and comment there. And for those of you that are subscribing to my podcast, thank you. And be sure to subscribe to my podcast. Kathy Terrell, I love to be selling and listen to me there. But enlisting your sneakers and listing your shoes, listing your slippers and listing your flats and your heels and all the wonderful shoes that will sell, sell, sell for back to school. I've got more tips for you and they're free. So you're going to hop over to my website. I love to be selling.com. And what you're looking for is the ultimate guide to back to school products, pre-K to college and grab it. Because not only are shoes a massive category and all styles of shoes. And remember, back to school is all the way down to young, young, young kids all the way through college. And don't forget the teachers. Um, and also parents like to shop for themselves during back to school while they're shopping for their kids. Grab this guide. It is loaded with ideas of things that are hot sellers for back to school. I worked brick and mortar retail for over 25 years. I am very well acquainted with the back to school season and knowing what categories and what items sell. And I give you details and lists and things you can print it out, put it in your bag to keep with you as you're outsourcing. Um, but grab this guide. It is absolutely free and it is my gift for me to you. The Ultimate Guide to Back to School Products Pre-K Through College. So hop over to my website and grab it there. And thank you, everybody. You're welcome, Sharon. Thank you, Vicki. You're welcome. Thank you so much for joining me live. Melissa, thank you. Debbie, Rick, everybody, thank you so much for joining me live. I appreciate it. I'm Kathy, and I love to be selling. Bye-bye, everybody.